G'day, this is Alistair Christie, and in this video we're going to have a quick look at doing a master detail relationship between two client datasets using a T dataset field. So I'm just going to start by pressing F6 on the keyboard to bring up the ID insight, and I want to add a VCL forms application, and to that I want to add a data module. And on my data module, I want a client data set and a data source. And I want another couple of those, so I'll just copy and paste them. And I'm going to be very uncreative in my naming and call this one CDS Master. and CDS detail. And I'll be nice and tidy and name my data sources as well. Okay, now I want to add some fields and so I'm just going to add a name field string 30 data set field. Okay, let's add a couple of fields here. Okay, now I want to link these two together in the kind of standard master detail type relationship, but I'm going to do that through my data set field. do that from the detail um, because yes referring to itself would have been a bad idea now let's design the user in well if we design the user interface I would add a file name property um, if I can find it there it is okay now I want to use that unit And on here, I want a data, data, data DB grid. And a DB navigator. So I want to hook both of those up to my master. And, oops. my data set. Okay, so now we've got things linked up. Now, if I run this, I can add myself in there, and I can add John Doe, and I can go in and create a new item, a widget, out 100 um, spring ten dollars and a a wing nut five dollars close out of that and save now if I close the application that will uh, will actually save right down the bottom an XML file I'll just open this in PSPad, which is um, something a useful application because it's got this is a nice reformatting of XML and HTML. Now, so here is our um, definition of our fields, and um, here is our data. Then we have two rows: one's Alistair Christie and one's John Doe. And on the Alistair Christie row, we have um, our widget, spring, and wing nut. Now, it's also got the same um, change log information. Um, if we go back to this, uh, what I'll do is I'll add another And 
selected of anchor top and make it my detail. And if I run that again, and give Joe a footy little bolt. Save that, close out, have a look again, and let's reformat that. Um, we've got these different row states and what have you, which um, all mean various things, but we don't actually care. Uh, what I'm going to do is in the destructor of the data module, I'm going to go um, merge change log. And so if we go and close out, oh, maybe we need to make a change. Reload, yes. Reformat it. It gets rid of all the change log stuff. Um, the change log stuff would be important if you were um, perhaps doing a brief case model and then writing this information back to a, a database at a later date. Um, but we're not going to. So that's all fine for us. Now, the last thing I'll do is let's get rid of this um, uh, detail field here in the grid because we don't need it anymore. We can do that one of two ways. We can delete it, you know, add, add all the fields, and then delete the um, detail one. Or we can leave that as it is and go back to our detail field and just turn visible off. And there we have it. And that's I think pretty much everything I wanted to cover. If you followed, I haven't explained things very well, but I never do, so... Anyway, thanks very much for watching.